Hey guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to answer one of life's big questions. What's better, candy or sweets? <laughs> So this week, my girls got their Christmas presents sent over from my family in the States. And due to the fact that my mom is awesome, I also got a little care package of my own. So I thought I would do some rigorous and scientific testing on once and for all who has the better treats, America or the UK? I don't know. Basically, every type of candy they sent me, I hunted down the UK equivalent and after some thought, I've decided that the best way to pick a winner is to fill my face with each of them. So here goes. Round one, Hershey's versus Dairy Milk. This actually tastes like home. I used to visit the factory where this is made. It was like an hour and a half from my house. And it's, there's like a huge Hershey's chocolate ride and everything, it was super cool. Dairy Milk is so nice. When I first moved here, I couldn't get enough of it. Are you swallowing them whole? You're eating them so fast, are they even touching your tongue? I would have to say, Dairy Milk wins that one. It's just so creamy. Because the Hershey's chocolate has a tiny little bit of a bitter aftertaste. But I guess I've just been so used to it, having it for so many years. So yeah, Dairy Milk wins. Round two is Whoppers versus Maltesers. I haven't had Whoppers in like 10 years. But you can see they're pretty much the same. <laughs> so I'll try the Whopper first. Mmm. Yep. Not very nice. Cool, 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 cool. Very gross. It almost tastes a little bit like stale, kind of, than the Malteser. Mmm. Light. Airy, <laughs> super yummy. Again, I think Malteser is gonna have to win this one. Oh, they're disgusting. Round three, Ovation Chocolate Orange versus Terry's Chocolate Orange. They look pretty similar to be fair. This one's slightly bigger. Never had this. It's actually pretty good. And I'm pretty sure Everyone loves Terry's chocolate orange. So good. Mm, I think I'm gonna have to go with Terry's chocolate orange. It's just a bit creamier. This just has a bit of a funky aftertaste. Round four, Andy's mints versus after eats. I used to eat these after all the dinners as a kid. Mm. They are just as good as I remember. They're so nice. Mm. They are good. But I'll have to say, the Andy's Mint is much nicer. It's just really creamy and I just really like the flavor of it. So, Andy's Mint for the win. Round five. Twizzlers versus the English licorice, I guess? I got this at one of the local sweet shops. Nice. This reminds me of my childhood. It's cherry and it tastes so nice. You can get it in chocolate as well. And they're really, really good. Mmm. <laughs> Fresh. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to say Twizzlers <laughs> wins this one. Cause I think I just broke a tooth. <laughs> I think after that candy, I need a Palette cleanser, or what do you guys call it? Um, a muji bush, muji bushy. <laughs> Star Wars for the win, maybe. Round six: Swedish fish versus again the English fish. Um, I don't know if you guys really know what these, but these are massive in the states. They're so soft. My girls are obsessed with these. My mom sends a bag over anytime she sends me a box. Mm, they're really good. 
and then the English. Hmm. A bit chewy. <coughs> Swedish fish for the win. Round seven. Almond Joy versus the Bounty. Actually, I haven't had one of these in ages, but it's, well, it's pretty much the same thing, just coconut and chocolate. Although I do have to say, I think Almond Joy sounds much cooler than Bounty. Mm, I love coconut. It's like going on holiday in the middle of winter in England. <laughs> and Bounty. They kind of taste the same, to be honest, but I prefer the chocolate a bit more to the Almond Joy. And the name's cooler. So Almond Joy for the win. Round eight. Fun Dip versus the Dip Dab. So ours has a stick. And you have to give it a lick first. And then just dip in there like that. I forgot how sour these are actually. <laughs> hmm. This would be like crack for kids. My girls would love this. Bit sour, bit more powdery, and a lolly. <coughs> that is really sour, actually. So I'm gonna have to say probably neither. <laughs> um, there's there's not that enjoyable. As a kid, I remember liking Fun Dip. Not so much now. Round nine. Pop Rocks first Fizz Whiz. Never had them with a lolly before. As a kid, we should just <laughs> dump them in our mouth. Blue raspberry. Really sour. And kind of like a gritty taste. Not as good as I remember. You do it the old school way. No lolly, just straight in there. That's how it's supposed to sound. Again, my girls would probably go crazy for these, although they'll never get them. They have enough energy as so as it is. I think Fizzwiz is gonna have to win this one. It reminds me of what Pop Rocks used to be when I was a kid. Round 10 is American M&M's versus British M&M's. Now this is probably gonna be a bit unfair because I already know I love these way more. They just hold a really special place in my heart. Uh, when my husband and I first met, um, he'd never been to a, like a drive-in movies. Oh, can you imagine? And when we went, we just got every single flavor we could find because in the States, there's loads, raspberry, you can get coconut, mint, pretzel, white chocolate, peanut butter, and then the best ones obviously are peanut butter. And we would just sit there and just stuff our faces with them. So it just brings back so many good memories. So I couldn't really do this video without including these. So I'll try the British M&Ms first. Yeah, they're nice. Now, I do have to say, we went to the M&M shop in Trafalgar Square, and they actually did tell us that the reason you don't have all of these lovely flavors is because they're packed full of chemicals, which aren't allowed in this country, which is awful, but they taste really good. So I'm gonna have to eat some of the peanut butter ones because they're my absolute favorite. If you haven't tried these, go get some. You will not regret it. So good. They're just, they're just so peanut buttery. <laughs> mm, lovely. So, as you probably already expected, America wins the M&Ms. I really hope people would like this video because I genuinely feel really sick. And if that's not worth a thumbs up, I don't know what is. So it looks like the girls have enough treats to last them until Christmas. And the winner is America. <laughs> A huge moment in the country's history, I'm sure. Well done! <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed eating it. 
and please let me know in the comments below if I missed out any of your favorite chocolates or candies. As always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, smash that like button if that's what you're into, and I'll see you in the next video. I just need to get a drink of water. Mm, <laughs> in our mouth.